Well, it's telling me it's okay. I guess it was just the server dropping down for one second there. Anyways, the plus two defense for Whoop coming. It's a shame he only has two stables. A third stable would really be useful right now. Because these spearmen are gonna be able to kill those knights. Okay, not if they fight like this. And whole army from Lois is gonna get cleaned up now because the spears just wasted themselves. Archers are going... Oh, he killed still one more vill there, but what is Loisa doing? Loisa is doing knights as well, no camels. So Whoop has to add, had, add the TCs fast or else he's gonna get raided to death. And that's the weird, weirdest TC I have ever seen. Like, I would have placed it there. He wants the hill instead. Like, I get it. Like, both of them are bad TC spots. That's true. And yeah, whoops, uh, woodland was open, so Loisa got in there with his knights. Gonna kill at least two villagers, maybe third one. Yeah, getting the third one. At the same time, Whoop is going around looking for the same sort of pickups, but it's not gonna be happening. Maybe one or two bills maximum. Yeah, and he's gonna lose his knights for doing this, so. Whereas Loisa getting away with his one knight. Whoop is losing at least. Oh, uh, I don't know, let's see. Husbandry for Whoop, so he's gonna be able to raid a lot easier with, with the speed upgrade. The villagers, of course, in favor of Loisa. The TC spots are better for Loisa. And the third TC for Loisa is way faster as well. Monaster coming up for Whoop. Ah, and these, 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 these knights seem so fast, they're just running like crazy. Yeah, so with the monks he can heal up and he can start to do a bit of some sort of push, you know. Still don't need the seed third TC, and he's adding a lot of camels, so... Oh, there we see, Loisa is crank raid. He's gonna lose his whole army doing this one raid, and the camel is trying to kill a bill instead of a knight, so... That's not gonna work out too well. Everything going down for pretty much nothing. And with the husbandry research, the camel is as good as dead. So military-wise, Whoop has now 12 units, whereas Loisa has 7. Loisa has a monastery as well, 2 camels and some knights. But if Whoop is waiting for something, it's right now. He has the army advantage to go and do something. Something stupid, do something crazy. I saw the wood amount go down and is it that TC? Yeah, it's a TC. I really don't get why do you want to make it like one tile away? But yeah, Whoop is gonna have both his stone paths secured now. Loisa on the other hand, oh Loisa had both his stone piles at the back, so he had them secured all the time. A bit of a you know, you you Split your army, you go for the raids at different corners, is there gonna be one wheel goes down? And there we see one knight gonna get converted, but the monk is gonna go down. And that monk is as good as dead as well. You can just do the raiding, as long as you don't lose units, you can just kill them to full HP. Super fast, and oh, this knight from Whoop is being super unlucky, it could have seen these four wheels running uh, around. 15 wheels difference, the army is equal right now. And... Uh, I would definitely like the advantage for Loisa. There's no question about it. And did Loisa just like randomly walk over here? Yeah, and he sees the stone. 
I bet. And he's and there's the gold as well. That's lucky for him. Yeah, but he can't TC here. So is he going for TC down here or is he waiting for a castle? All these knights, one more will goes down there. So it's only 10 villager difference right now. And in army, Whoop is still a tiny bit ahead. Slurring. Okay, so yeah. Louis is doing a smart castle. Not in any crazy spot like this. But, like, everybody, like, I'm at least wondering. What is his resources? What is he doing? Where are these bills here? I guess... Like I would have made, made just a mining camp there and taken the stone, but... And Loisa doesn't have the second up building. Some more raids coming in for Whoop. Take Loisa off the stone. Oh, and there we go. Camel gets converted. Look at Lois's resources and being housed forever. This castle really getting built slowly. The villager amount is getting closer and closer, but of course Lois is having way more resources. And Lois clicked up, but the villager is now in advantage for Whoop. And look at this. Extremely lucky. Wolf finds where Loisa is building the TC and that this villager if he just heals it If the monk goes a bit closer to heal and he attacks it's gonna be the MVP villager Yeah, the monk is going closer and it's gonna heal and there is no way that will is not gonna take down everybody Look at it go In the meantime whoop Eight villagers ahead and doing more and more raids. First, the problem is that Loisa is just have he just had so many resources, so it's gonna be pretty much fully upgraded man guys straight away in Imperial Age. I mean, oh, he's Chok News, yeah, Chok News. China, why am I talking about man guys? There was like nothing you can really do against them. Like if he gets the rams, he gets a couple of traps and then he just takes down the TCs. Whoop is placing his castle behind the TCs, so yeah, he wants to protect it. It's the most important thing for a Mongol after all, to have his castles alive. Loza is having two relics, not finding any more. But yeah, Whoop knows, knows what's coming. He saw it with his forward buildings that, okay, it's Chuck News, they're upgraded. I better prepare for them. And his answer is gonna be Mango Dice. And Whoop is going up. But it's gonna take him quite a while. Okay, so it's Brazer coming in and a Choknu instead of a Treb. Oh, this this castle for Whoop is not gonna go up. The Choknus are coming too fast. And that's on... Oh, Loisa doesn't see it. He sees the TC and he's just giving up. That's so unlucky. Now he sees it. It was a castle being built one tile away from where he was walking to. And now it's too late, Loisa, it's too late, and there's another castle there that's gonna shoot all your all your Chuck News down. The second castle there as well, shooting at the Chuck News now, and Loisa is gonna lose at least couple. Yeah, there we go. The forward castle for Loisa is very strong though. Or well it's like it's not really strong. He wanted on the hill, but he couldn't get it. So now it's at the bottom. Still raids going around, but yeah, Loisa is dealing with it. So yeah, Whoop, ha Whoop is the one with the amazing resources now, so does Loisa though, but... 
just what is it gonna be? What's the plan? The university was made. But don't you feel tiny bit about getting monitors against this with all those resources or upgrading Bazaar? Okay, well that's 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 something, you know, dropping a castle. Like you go around dropping castles on like a flat ground around the enemy. That takes balls. So Elite Mangudai, Brazer, Pathian Tactics, Ballistics, Conscription, everything's getting researched right now. And the fact is that even non-Elite Mangudais can take down these Chuck News. Especially with the hill. But now Whoop just needs enough trebs to take down all the castles from Loiza and his base. And these trebs are gonna get picked off. There we go, everything's going down. Castle, is it able to reach? Yeah, it's able to reach there, but Treb is down. So now how many Trebs? Whoop is making zero Trebs at the moment. It's like, okay, I got two castles in my base. Am I gonna make a Treb to take them down? No, I just want these elite Mangu guys. I heard they're amazing units. Still no Siege, no Trebs. Kind of a weird option. The population is dead even, but of course, Mangu guys are the better. One of the, you know, Choknu against Mangudan. <laughs> yeah, that stone is taken. Still no Treb. Oh, one Treb coming out. Nice. Luisa is not making Trebs either. He doesn't feel confident enough with it. So, yeah, 28 idols for Whoop, 12 for Luisa. Neither one of them doing too well. Lois up going for the heavy camel. You know, like, all in all, if you look at how Loisa plays, you know, you might like say it, he plays like Supidas in terms of picking Chinese and then doing the miracle counter unit against Mangu Dice, aka heavy camel. But the fact is, heavy camel is not really too strong. Oh, and these three Mangudas are gonna be able to kill everything. No ballistics? Oh, what is... Oh, it's a monk. I was already like, what's going on here? But yeah, two traps from Whoop are gonna take down all the castles from Loiza. So it's not gonna be... Oh, but all the Choknus are going to the north and all villagers are gonna go down. It's a very weird... Transition, like to decide, okay, I made two castles in your base, I'm gonna give them up. I think it was rather correct idea though, because there was no way Lois was able to hold them. So now, whoop, what do you do? Does whoop know about? Yeah, whoop doesn't know there's a gold there, so he's not taking it seriously enough. Just thinks, okay, it's an extra stone pile, I got four castles. I'm gonna be fine. Oh, now he's sending all his army there. And... Yeah. Light cavalry, leather archer armor, chemistry. And leaving your traps alone against light cav. Converting light calves. Well, those traps did what they were made to do. They killed two castles from Loiza. So he knows, okay. Loiza went up there and does he see he sees the gold, okay, and that's nice. So whoop knows. Loiza's taking gold there. Oh but this raid, <laughs> this raid. So now Whoop has to GB his whole army to kill these Chuck News. Yeah, Loisa knows he can't win a frontal assault against the Mongol, so he's just doing these weird sorts of maneuvers, going around doing as many trash units as possible, getting a lot more wills. Although I think he could still get a bit more, and getting the three relics to have something to eventually win with. Oh, 
Yeah, okay. Well, this is not smart, Loiza. You're just standing around and the Mangudas are coming to pick everything up. Definitely walking against the Mangudas is not working either. It's maybe one or two Mangudas that died there. Okay, maybe three. Yeah, so that's the power of the Mangudas. One Mangudai, two Mangudai, and like 20 dead Chuck News. Now Whoop is showing that he can raid as well. Um, well, Mangudais are Mangudais. The villager amounts are around a similar 69 army for Loiza, but... The miracle unit is gonna be strong. Another weird raid coming in. Oh, now we see. So the camels, how do they do against the Mangudai? Hmm. The answer is that they do decently, but if there is... <laughs> Mangudes can shoot over each other, so... They don't do good enough. Oh, that's an awkward fight, running into the camels. Yeah, and that's... this is how well the camels do. Like, okay, they kill Mangudes a bit, but then they just die. All four castles still producing Mangudai, as expected. The light cap upgrades haven't really been too great. Only plus two, plus two, no Hussar. So now, all Whoop has to do is just win the game. But he's definitely not trying to do this by raiding with all his mango dice, he has the better unit, why don't he waste them by running around so much? Because the fact is that... Oh my god, and now he's running into the Chuck News. That's horrible. Seven mango dice left from all those that went to that fight, it was over 40 start off with. Siege workshop, okay, but rams are not gonna really cut it against Chinese. You really need those traps. But the sad fact is that even though Loisa has this army here, that is around 80 army, just 49 army from the Mongol might be able to take it. It's yeah. Like, just look at the camels, they are melting away. The Mangudas are doing an amazing job, and the military is 40 against 68. Okay, well, the Mangudas are running back now. As long as the Mangudas don't get in, in range of Chok News, it's gonna be fine. And it's over 30 Mangudas left, so the traps are gonna go down with a tiny bit of micro. And that's not the micro you want to see running straight into the Chuck News and getting shot a lot. Okay. Well, that could have been a lot better fight for Whoop, but it still was decent. Getting the kills and the Chuck News are going down. More Chuck News coming to die. Yeah, so Whoop has the army advantage now again. I just hope he's gonna make some traps this time to push with. The camel's going to die, maybe gonna kill one or two Mangudais. Okay, well that was that went a bit better. But Lois is still not gonna be able to hold it. Just running back to his own base. But can Luis afford it? And the answer is, yeah, he pretty much can. He has so much gold in the bank. If he can just hold on long enough, it's gonna be enough. The big raids for Whoop coming in now. Luis doesn't really have any castles here, so it's gonna easily be around 20 villagers going down. Oh. 
And there we go, Loisa is losing so many villagers. I don't think Loisa is gonna even be able to kill this army inside his own base. He's just going forward and all those Chocnus are gonna die. No, they're gonna be killing instead, okay? So yeah, Loisa, 130 pop. He has good eco, uh, good amount of resources in. But he has only 95 will Oh, and most of them are dying. And this amount of camels is not gonna be able to kill all these mango dice. Especially not if they are girping around like this. Most of them dying, and now they are just running away and still dying more and more. The Lois's raid on the gold was a success, couple of mills killing. But you're not gonna stop a Mongol with that. Light cab raids coming in. So what are you doing, Loiza? You got camels. And it seems he wants to get the hill and take... And just have the advantage. The hill advantage, but Whoop is having none of it. He's just running around. Loiza thinks Whoop wants to get away, but the fact is, like, Whoop doesn't care. Whoop has a good amount of Mangudas, and they're now from the hill shooting down on the camels, and the camels are gonna go down was nowhere close to enough to kill the Mangudas. Okay, well, he could have just stayed, like, I mean, he could have just stayed there and killed all the camels, but instead he's running. Gonna lose a couple of Mangudas while running, but... There is the second army from Whoop. Oh, now Loisa is bring, trying to trap them, but he's not quite doing it right. 110 pop for Loisa. Yeah, what can we say? I think the thing to say is if we just add some siege, it's over. Doesn't matter what sort of siege it is, rams would do because there is nothing to kill them. Yeah, so like, what could have Loisa done different? Nothing really, I feel. Like, the Chuck News are good, but... Like, if he... If Loisa would have massed a lot of Chuck News, then it would be... Onichers coming from the... Mongol player, maybe even SOs, and those kill Chuck News like nothing. So, a big raid, a lot of light calves. Have Tram? Okay, so Whoop is going for the siege, finally he sees that he has to do it. The fact we are still missing the Hussar upgrade is though... Like, the Hussar really makes a big difference. Especially in a Mongol war where you get the extra HP. <clears throat> a Treb coming in for, for Whoop as well. But yeah, it's weird that like his siege is like his siege is like the secondary force, whereas his main force is the raiding force. A lot of camels for Loiza. Gonna try to get this around, but Whoop is just like, I'm not gonna risk it, I'll just run away. The problem here is though, as he runs away, Loiza can go and just crush the crush the army. Having all the siege in it. But yeah, 96 bills, 95 bills for Loiza, 50 of them idle, 94 bills, 92 bills, you get the idea. And yeah, the one relic advantage for Chinese is not large enough to ever win the game. Treb went down, but there is a beautiful spot there where Whoop can just keep his Mangudas between the stable and the cliff. 
And the other group of Mangudais is still inside Loisa's base. Loisa has 20 military left and 87 wills. It might be the time for him to call it call it the GG. He's trying to raid with something, but of course. You can't really raid it, raid him, you can't kill his castles, and those are the only thing that matters. Still waiting for the siege, no rams, no trebs. Oh, and actually Whoop found the other gold pile. So it's not even that Loisa has an extra gold pile there, even on the amount of gold they are able to mine. Ouch. So yeah, now Whoop is like, okay, I'll go home, I'll defend with some. I'll raid with all the rest. And... Oh my god, we are seeing some more traps. It's clearly... Clearly... Surprising. Like, if, if Loisa just loses his castle, I think he's gonna GG it, because then there is nothing left to shoot back at all the units running through his base. There we go, a small amount of Mangrida is going to deal with all this weird eco here in the corner. So, where are the traps going? Are they going to the north or to the south? Doesn't look like they are going to either right now, standing around. Like, okay, so if we assume that Whoop is not gonna push into Loisa's base, which I think has been the topic of this game, Loisa is gonna run out of wood eventually. That is a fact. And, okay, Loisa has 1k wood in the bank and I bet he has a lot of farms queued up. But yeah, the two traps. Slowly but surely, they are going forward. They are unpacking. One of them is unpacking. One of them is unpacked. Second one is unpacking, okay. So... How long can Loisa keep on repairing this? And if the answer is not long at all, he only has masonry, so it doesn't even have that much HP. The raids Loisa is doing are starting to pay off a tiny bit. Boot is under 100 wills, but when you are mango dice, just don't lose them most of the time. Loisa is trying to mass up a big final army. And he's gonna try to trap Whoop when he comes in for the hill and then hold there. Like if Loisa can kill Whoop's army. Oh, is Loisa going for it? Yeah, Loisa is going to kill his whole own army there. I guess that was a worthy effort. And GG. So, you see, the castle went down and it's a GG. Whoop could have killed it easily, quite a bit faster. But I guess, you know, you're, when you're playing no, nomadic tribes such, such as Mongols, you could just have to go with the feeling, you don't really push or do anything like that. Anyways, 2-1 for Whoop. So maybe after all, Whoop is the hero of this whole group. Champion. Okay, let's say he has a personal style he plays with. It's like nothing really anybody else does. Most of the time, it's just that tiny bit of retardedness and weird, weird choices.